school therapist from Woodmire Elementary School here to share with you all the educator wellness part two focusing on physical wellness so today I'm going to share with you all a tool and talk a little bit about physical wellness and the importance of it um, and why it's so important to involve this in self-care and taking care of ourselves so physical wellness relates to maintaining a healthy body and seeking care when needed physical health is achieved through eating healthy getting enough of sleep, exercise, and paying attention to signs of illness and getting help when that's needed. So the first tool I wanna to share with you all is called constructive breath. This is really easy and simple and quick, something you can do even throughout your work day. And this can also be, if you're a teacher, something you can use in the classroom with your students. Just a nice little mindful break that you guys can take together or you can do when you have a few minutes during planning period or whenever you get some free time during the day. So we're gonna sit with our feet planted on the floor. You want your legs to be a little further than hips width apart. Okay, and you wanna be st sitting up tall, straightening out your spine. You can sit towards the edge of your chair. This will help your feet get more solid and grounded into the ground. So we're gonna bring our fingers together, interlace our fingers, bring your hands under your chin. On the inhale, you're gonna bring your elbows up. Exhale, bring your elbows down. Inhale, raise both your elbows out to the sides, keeping your hands together, your fingers interlace and touching your chin. Exhale, you're gonna soften your rib cage and let your elbows arc downward, still keeping your knuckles under your chin. Inhale, raise your elbows again. Feeling that rib cage expand. Exhale, lower your elbows again. Feeling your shoulders relax. And you can continue this for as long as you feel it's necessary. Inhaling, exhaling. Remembering to keep your spine tall, your feet planted. Do this once more. And when you're ready, you can unlace your fingers, sit back in your chair, and take a moment to continue to relax. But this is a great little tool that you can use throughout your day. Again, I said, you know, you can do it with your students. Do it when you have a free minute. It doesn't take long and it gives your body a good reset. Thank you all for listening and I will talk to you again soon.